The political spin is underway after lawmakers wrapped up the legislative session with a flurry of votes. The biggest vote was on the budget. A bill that raises $2 billion in new taxes cleared the Senate late Monday night. It increases taxes on cigarettes and high-income earners. The money will give a hefty infusion of cash to K-12 schools and help freeze tuition at state colleges for the next two years. It also erases the state's $600 million budget deficit. Some of the cigarette money will provide backup funding for the Viking Stadium. Lawmakers also passed a scaled-down bonding bill that funds restoration work at the state capitol. Not everything worked out in the DFL-controlled legislature. They decided against a tax increase on alcohol and a new tax on clothing. And the House and Senate could not agree on a minimum wage increase. DFL leaders had considered that a priority early in the session. So were there winners and losers in this legislative session? And we sat down with local lawmakers for their summary of the session that was. From the jubilation of supporters over passage of same-sex marriage equality. The bill is passed. To the outcry of opponents after a daycare unionization bill was passed. Yeah, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Mr. Yes. Speaker. Go ahead and That's right. Yes. Go ahead and let him applaud. Mr. Speaker. Stop. Right. Stop. Right. Let him applaud. Mr. Applaud. Speaker. They own Clear the, the deck, deck Mr. Well. Mr. Speaker. We're not in charge of it. Let him applaud. They own the place. The 2013 legislative session was anything but quiet. We did the things that we said we were going to do. We ran on, that we ran on. We ran on giving property tax relief. We ran on getting more funding for K K-12 education. How legislators summarize the session or spin it depends largely on party. Over $2 billion in new taxes, new revenue. Every taxpayer in the state of Minnesota will be negatively affected financially by what they have done. The session ended with the passage of a two-year, $38 billion budget that increases funding for schools and offers property tax relief, as well as erases the state's projected $627 million deficit. I think there's a lot of winners out there. This is not something... Republican Sarah Anderson of Plymouth sees it differently, namely when it comes to new taxes on businesses. It's basically a sign to all businesses in the state or any that are interested in coming here to say, don't come to Minnesota because you're going to get hit hard. And so... Summed uh, up with letter is, grades... I'm afraid I don't have a high grade for this legislative session. Area Republicans Warren Limmer and Sarah Anderson give the session below average marks with a C- minus and D. Democrats Ann Rest and Michael Nelson give their party's work in the legislature a solid B+. Plus. And for now, the majority party gets the final word. I think it was, it was a good session. I think there were, like I said, there were some things that we would have liked to see happen that didn't. Um, but it was a good session. Lawmakers head back now to their districts until the 2014 session begins in February.